Welcome. The topic for this RMS support tutorial video is how to complete a bucket pipeline dredge report. Now, let's get started. If your contract includes dredging and your USACE representative has set it up to require separate dredge reports, the daily report summary screen will include additional filters to access these reports. There are three different types of dredge reports. There's the bucket and pipeline, the hopper, and the sidecaster. This video covers the instructions for the bucket and pipeline dredge report. The hopper and sidecaster dredge reports will be included in another video. See the link in the description box below. The bucket and pipeline dredge report has five different sections. Character of report, weather work, distribution of work, attendant plants, and QC narratives. To get started, select your contract, navigate to the QC tab, Click on the QC Daily Reports module. In the top right, you'll see all judge reports, complete judge reports, and incomplete judge reports. To add a judge report, you must first click on one of the blue dredge tiles at the top. And then to add a judge report, click on Add. Click OK. Select the day of the judge report. Click OK. Here you'll have three options for the dredge type. You have bucket pipeline, sidecaster, and hopper. For this dredge report, we will select the bucket pipeline dredge type. Once you've selected your dredge type, click OK. From here, it will generate the report. There are five different sections for this report to fill out. Character report, weather work, attendant plants, distribution of work, and QC narratives. It is possible to copy information from previous reports into this judge report by clicking on the copy button. From there, select the day of the report you wish to copy. RMS will allow you to select which area you wish to copy to this report. They are character report, work perform, operating supplies, attendant plans, and distribution of work. Check the boxes for the options you wish to copy. Click OK to copy the areas into the report. The first section of the report is Character of Report. Here you can select the character of the report. Choose the type of character or report based on your contract and work needs. From there you'll need to fill out the bucket size, crew size, location of work, character materials, channel conditions, and the river and tide stage. Once that information is entered, click the back button to save it. The next section of the report to fill out is the Weather and Work tab. Click on it to open. Here you will need to enter the weather type. The report will not let you submit unless you select the weather type. From there, you'll need to fill out the work perform section and any operating supplies that were used. Click on the back button to save the information. The next section to fill out is attendant plants. You have two options to add an attendant plant. You can use the copy button to copy a previous attendant plant or use the add button to add it manually. Click on add. Enter in the attendant name and the attendant type. Click OK. From there, you'll need to enter in the horsepower, hours, and minutes that the attendant worked. And then click on the back button to save the information. The attendant plant will populate and you can see the information here. Click on the back button to save. The next section is distribution of work. Distribution of work has three sections, effective working time, non-effective working time, and lost working time. The sum of all the activities must total up to 24 hours in order to complete this section. Once the overall total equals 24 hours, click on the back button to save it. The next section of the report is QC narratives. The QC narratives are the most important input part of the daily report. This is where you describe what happened at the work site. To add a QC narrative, click on Add. You have the option to manually add narrative or copy narratives from previous report. Narratives are set up in the district library by a USACE official. If you do not see the narrative type, please contact your government representative to have them add the narrative to the district library, letting them know which type of report needs to have the narrative added to it. Select the narrative type. Click OK. The QC narrative section is being generated. The comment section is where you describe what happened at the worksite for that day. 
Once you finish filling out the narrative, click on the back button to save it. Then the narrative will populate to the dredge report. This completes all five sections of the dredge report. It is ready to be submitted to the government. To do so, click on the report completed button. Click yes. The report will be generated to the document package. Once generated, you'll have to sign the report and submit the document package to the government for review. To sign the report, double click on the document package. Select the report to sign. Click on the Sign Selected Documents button. Select the report. Click Next. Ensure you have the correct digital signature position. The signature position can be changed by double clicking in the digital signature position box to show the ellipsy lookup button. Click on the ellipsy button to select the new digital signature position. Then select your signature position and then click OK. And then click finish to sign the report. Enter your password. Click sign. The report has been signed. Next step is to click Submit for Review to submit it to the government. Click Yes to submit. The Dredge Report has now been submitted to the government for review. You can check this by clicking on the Back button and checking the Status tab, which shows that the report is in review. You can also check to see if the report was completed by clicking on the Back button. Click on the Complete Dredge Reports tile and you can see the report has been completed on the contractor side. In summary, we covered the five sections of the Bucket Pipeline Dredge Report, and we covered how to submit the Bucket Pipeline Dredge Report. We thank you for watching and hope you found this video informative.